Hey, what's up, fellow filmmakers? I'm Brian, and in this week's episode, I wanted to talk about how I was so, so close, this close, in screwing up an entire short film last week. Um, I also wanted to talk about the best Samsung NX1 settings, and why my neighbors are so freaking loud upstairs. Alright, let's get into the episode. Oh man, I was so excited to do this video, I forgot to put on a shirt other than a white one. So, um, and I just knocked it in my camera when I was running back, so, um, I think I fixed the focus. Um, um, I'm using my teeth there, by the way, um, but I ran into my camera and it might be tilted the wrong way, but, you know, I'm so excited to share this video with you. And so, let's get started. So, do you know the feeling after you get done with a shoot, you rush back home, dead tired, and you look at what you shot the dailies for the day and it just doesn't look right. It doesn't look as good as what you thought. And most of the time, and most of the time, um, you're just tired and it looks better than what you thought um, or that night. And most of the time you're just tired. But in my case, I was so close to screwing up a short film for my friend. But my biggest problem was I didn't know that this thing in my screen is on photo mode the whole time. Um, it's not until you press the record button um, that the movie um, program, yeah, that the movie standby comes on. It's not until you hit the record button that you see what was actually being taken. And long story short, I just did all the contrast, saturation, bumped everything down, but I was doing it on the picture wizard, which is the still photography uh, part portion of it. And, um, yeah, I didn't know, and I thought when you hit the record, I thought, oh, wow, Samsung put on, like, the, uh, REC 709 LUT for it. And, no, it, apparently when you hit record, you see what your final image is going to be. And, oh, man, um, I'm going to jump to the camera to show you guys, um, what I did and what you need to do. Also, I'm going to show you the best settings that I've found. Um, over the past month or so of having this camera. And, yeah, my neighbors are still being loud upstairs. So, um, let's hop onto the camera real quick. Alright, so you see up at the top is that still camera. That's what I clicked on to get the picture wizard to uh, screw this up. Um, so the second tab is, looks like a video camera. Whoa, what are you doing, Brian? Pan up. Tilt up, I mean. <laughs> so the second one, um, is the video camera. You go to the gamma DR right there. And there's a little triangle that you click. And, wow, okay, so the green you can move down because it's kind of green saturated. And I think my uh, past Brian got tired there. Um, this is future Brian, by the way, just looking at uh, past Brian hold up the camera. Um, sorry if it's going in and out of focus. But, yeah, so you see the sharpness. Hopefully I'll click. Nope, one second. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is click that third tab and uh, okay so the third thing you want to do uh if you guys can see oh there you go uh you just click that third tab looks like a person the noise reduction uh make sure that's off because um what that does it enables you to use iso from 1 to 1600 perfectly clean without any artifacts in there all right so uh, within that video camera tab you click on uh the gamma dr the triangle um, like I said before, uh, you want to make sure that green is at 0 0.90, 0 0.95. Um, and then you want to go into um, sharpness. Sharpness should be at negative 10. Uh, you can always add that back later in post, but the NX1 is really overly sharp. You guys probably know. And then you go to saturation um, to minus 3. I usually like to turn it all the way down, but this camera, you want to put it at minus 3. It works the best. And contrast is negative 3. Um, Try it anywhere between negative five and negative ten is just it looks really bad. Skin tones, um, especially the face. Um, so skin tones looks really really bad. Um, so negative three is about as extreme and flat as you can go with that. Um, and yeah, that's about it. 